So I'm back with the dodge roll. Here it is. <laughs> ah, he got me. I didn't dodge roll early enough. So. And he is invincible when he is dodge rolling. Dodge rolling. Ooh, ooh, you got me. Yeah, he got me. He got me at the end there. So he hit me. I mean, you're not just gonna be dodge rolling around. Come on, people. Dang it. <laughs> All right, and you cannot dodge roll in the air. So how did I get this going? It was um, pretty easy. Um, I did, I will admit, I did um, Google this on the forums. Um, I did have an idea of how to do it. I just wanted to see what other people wrote about it and it pretty much confirmed my idea that um, um, I was actually trying to interp and um, somebody gave an easier idea of just using a timeline and that just gives you um, control over the over the curve so here we have it um, this guy the new hero so, so press the right thumbstick button Make sure he's not falling, because I don't want him rolling in the air, at least not for now. And then um, do it do once, so that um, you know he's not just rolling around the entire game. <laughs> and then that will set dodge roll, which will update his animation over here. Um, this is just a hacky way I did. Um, this is all of his animations and just, I just put it here at the end just for testing for now. So once you press the dodge roll, it's going to update. Again, don't dodge, don't judge me <laughs> in my spaghetti code. So update over there and then over here. So this will be true and he's going to play this. And so that will dodge. Also set cannot be damaged, that's pretty much speaks for itself play from start set actor location so one thing about this I, I did this curve here so that he will get the most movement in the first um, few milliseconds and then kind of ease out back into a walking or running motion because if I just left it straight this way um, it would look very unnatural as, as he was you know kind of rolling like this. I kind of wanted him to like roll and then ease out of it. And with that we just got the actor location and we um, summed that. We added that to his forward vector times 20. Um, I played around this number until I got something that looked comfortable and nice. And um, once that timeline is finished it's um, 0.35 seconds. So he'll set the dodge roll so he can update his animation back to whatever he was doing and he can get damaged again and he can press the button again and it will do something. And for the animation itself, um, you're probably going to love this part. I got it off of this guy. Um, what What's his name? Oh, just put roll here. Roll. Let's look for a. Um, you guys are gonna love this. I got it from this guy. Do you not recognize him from Paragon? That's right. It's Twin Blast. And all I did was um, I just took those animations and um, retargeted them to the UE4 skeleton. So I didn't have to buy anything and have to download anything. This is all free. So pretty much just retargeted it. And there you go, free free rolling animations. So once again, 
show you this in motion. I pressed it too late. And it will work with um, any of my weapons. And yeah, it, it does make dodging the wolves a lot easier. Though, again, I pressed it too late. I mean, it's not going to solve your <laughs> your life problems with enemies, but it is a quick way to get away from them. I mean, you could be running as well. Try not to stay static. And there you go. Dodge roll. Quick, wolf. Do a dodge roll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to make sure it's not hacky. <laughs> if you try to turn around or something, it won't look terrible. Because he's going to keep going in that direction. Because of that set, set actor location. So there you go. That's how I did it. Hope that helps for something. It certainly helped me. <laughs>